right, in our Be Healthy report this morning, as we look ahead to the fast approaching 2011, many of us will resolve to get healthier in the new year. And for some, that will include adding vitamins or supplements and or to our diets. Here to talk more about this, registered dietitian Kelsey Mangano. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. So lots of questions here. First of all, in, in your opinion, are vitamins and supplements even a good idea? I think that a lot of factors come into play. Everyone's health background and health history is very different. Um, many supplements can have adverse side effects, so it's very important to discuss uh, the possibility of the use of supplements. Like with what kind of side effects? Um, many, some of them can cause nausea, vomiting, um, they can exacerbate as, um, existing conditions like heart complications, um, dizziness. I'm so serious. Uh, what about supplements or vitamins that are not regulated by the FDA? I think that has a lot of people concerned. They think, whoo, is this dangerous? Yeah, no, that's a really good point. Um, the FDA, unlike drugs, actually does not ensure the safety or the effectiveness of uh, dietary supplements before they're put on the market. So manufacturing companies are expected to ensure the safety of these supplements on their own, and periodically the FDA will go in and inspect these facilities, but they're not tightly regulated by the FDA, so that's why it's very important to discuss using or starting a new dietary supplement with a medical professional first. So, uh, so looking at the labels obviously very important, mm -hmm. but also are there some that you might recommend that are maybe some safe bets? Yeah, um, so supplements are intended to round out a diet that you're already consuming, so they're not meant to replace foods, but to round out the diet. So a multivitamin can be very helpful if you feel that you don't meet the requirements that are set out um, by my pyramid. Additionally, calcium and vitamin D have been shown in clinical research to be effective in optimizing bone health. So those two supplements can be very important, especially in New England where we don't attain enough sunlight in the winter time to make vitamin right. D in our skin. Yeah, it days can be like very today. <laughs> exactly. It can be very important to take that supplement if your doctor feels you're at risk for osteoporosis. Okay, so the the bottom line here is you say a good idea, it can be the right thing mm -hmm. for some people. Is it something they should talk to a dietitian or perhaps a doctor about before they make a decision like this? I completely agree. Talk to either a dietitian or a doctor before you start a supplement. And also the National Institutes of Health has a great website by the Office of Dietary Supplements that has all types of scientific literature about every supplement you can think of, and they have great resources at their website. Okay, so potentially a good thing for a healthier 2011. Thank yes. you so much, Kelly, for coming. We appreciate all your information. Thank you for having me.